Hey, what's up, people? Piz out here, and this is going to be a follow up video to my NECA rant San Diego Comic Con exclusive Friday the 13th two pack video that came out last week. If you guys didn't see that video, uh, basically, I had ordered um, two of these San Diego Comic Con exclusive uh, Friday the 13th two packs with young Jason and Mrs. Voorhees directly from NECA's website. They both arrived similarly packaged and similarly damaged. Um, this one actually less damaged than the other one. Um, and I chalked the whole thing up to basically incompetence on NECA's part in that they had packaged them both um, very, very poorly. They basically had thrown the figures into a uh, cardboard box and to protect the figures en route, um, they added a brown paper bag. Um, after the video came out, um, I got message from two different people saying that they had ordered um, figures, these figures, directly from NECA's website as I had. They had arrived similarly packaged and similarly damaged. But now both of these people said that the boxes that the figures had arrived in were absolutely pristine. There were no signs of any kind of external damage on the boxes, yet they were damaged similar to this inside. The, the packaging was damaged just like this inside. And that actually got me thinking, and one of the boxes, could, because I'd ordered two, and they'd shipped them separately in two, two separate boxes, and it charged me two separate uh, shipping and handling fees, um, one of the boxes was damaged. One of the boxes, the, 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 the top of it was pushed in. The other box was perfect. There was no damage on it, no visible damage on the outside of it at all. So that's kind of got me thinking, you know, maybe uh, the one figure was possibly damaged en route uh, because it was improperly packaged. Um, but the other one, the box was pristine looking, it was perfect looking. So it kind of got me thinking that maybe these were figures that they got at the NECA warehouse that were just damaged. Um, the packaging on them was damaged. And um, if you also remember in my original video, um, they had already done their flash sale and this was kind of just another sale that just, uh, my girlfriend had randomly checked the NECA website and lo and behold, they had more of these up and they were going really quick and that's why I ordered them and ordered two. And if my two were damaged and these other two guys, their figures were damaged similarly, yet the boxes that they arrived in uh, were not damaged, then that tells me that these figures and the packaging for these figures were damaged in the warehouse and NECA made the decision to sell them anyway. I would not be surprised if, and if all of those figures that were thrown up on their second big sale. And I'd love to hear more from from from, uh, from, from more of you guys. If you ordered uh, these figures, not from the original Flash sale that happened on the night that San Diego Comic-Con launched, but um, I think a few days later, and yours arrived damaged, please let me know. Um, if it didn't arrive damaged, please let me know as well. But I mean, that's... Yeah, I think they only had, when I ordered mine, there were 15. I ordered like number 14 and number 11 um, because they were going that quickly. So, I mean, it was a pretty surprise sale. I, I don't know if they'd even announced it on social media or not. Like I said, you know, my girlfriend just checked the website randomly and they were there. But, yeah, that's kind of got me thinking that these were damaged, you know, and they would held on to them and they were like, okay, well, what are we going to do with these? Ah, let's just throw them up and sell them and people will just be so happy that they got one they won't mind that the packaging is damaged and you know so that's kind of what i'm thinking at this point now the way that they shipped them in the box with the brown paper bag as protection that is not the way you ship anything that is not the way you ship anything um but yeah uh, really curious about that really curious about that. that's kind of changed my mind it's got me thinking that those figures were damaged, you know, within NECA, and that the shipping may or may not have uh, 
had an effect. But uh, another viewer messaged me and said, hey man, check Hastings' website. They're up on Hastings' website right now. Go order you one. So I ordered one from Hastings' website, directly from Hastings' website. And I called Hastings and I said, okay, how do you guys ship your figures? And they actually said, well, this figure is going to be shipping from one of our Oklahoma uh, stores. So let me connect you to that store and you ask them directly. So I called the store. I'm sorry, they, they, they connected me to the store. I talked to a, uh, what sounded like a young lady, and I said, look, I've ordered this figure. I just want to make sure that I get it in one piece, undamaged. Um, how do you guys package your stuff? And she goes, you know, we know you, you, you know, when we package these figures, we know that they're most of the time going to collectors. So we package them with the intention of them arriving in pristine condition because we know you guys are collectors. We know you guys are all about, um, you know, the packaging, et cetera, et cetera. I mean, she just said all the right things to me, <laughs> basically. And I can already tell you, this is a much bigger box than what uh, NECA had sent them in. If I shake it, you cannot hear anything rattling around inside, which kind of makes me think that they've packed everything in very tightly. But we're going to go ahead, we're going to pop this thing open, and we're going to see, fingers crossed out there, fingers crossed that this figure uh, is in pristine condition. So, going to cut this open, and we'll take a look together. Fingers crossed, people. Oh, my goodness. What a beautiful sight. What a beautiful sight bubble wrap is. When you open a package and you see bubble wrap, that is a beautiful sight. And they have just cocooned this thing in bubble wrap. Just check that out. That, this is how you package something, NECA. You don't just throw it in a box with a brown paper bag. Put some bubble wrap in there. It's not like I didn't pay $11.99 for you guys to ship. Um, so yeah, lots of bubble wrap and the big bubble wrap. So Hastings, um, I'm loving you guys right now. And let's see. Oh goodness. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Um, it appears to be in, uh, just absolutely perfect pristine condition. Um, the packaging is beautiful, no creases, no bends, no tears, no bulging anywhere. Um, yes, yes. Thank you, Hastings. Thank you, Hastings. You know how to package your collector's items such as this in a big box with lots and lots of big bubble wrap. NECA, you can take a page from... Uh, from Hastings on how to ship stuff. So, yeah, very, very happy with Hastings. Um, here's the figures. And uh, again, perfect condition. Perfect condition. Very, very happy with Hastings. Very, very happy with Hastings. And, uh, yeah. Uh, if you guys have not had the opportunity to order this, if you missed the, the flash sales, uh, if you don't want to pick this up off eBay for 80 90 100 100 plus bucks. Head over to GoHastings.com. See if they have any left. Um, and um, pick this up. I was on their website like three days ago. They had them in stock. They had them available. If you haven't got this yet, that's the place to go pick them up. Um, so, yeah. Again, thank you, Hastings, for shipping your stuff properly. Uh, that goes a long way in my book. I'm a proud Hastings customer. And that's made me an even prouder Hastings customer. So, very very cool um, and uh, yeah in great condition I am I'm very happy I'm a happy camper here people happy camper uh, again if you guys ordered uh, your uh, San Diego Comic Con exclusive Friday the 13th two pack directly from NECA please let me know how it was packaged and if it came damaged if you ordered it from not the original flash sale but the second one again let me know how it was shipped and if it was damaged because I, I'm, I'm thinking the reason these are damaged is because of something within NECA's warehouse. Um, and uh, they just went ahead and shipped a, the damaged ones out and 
you know, like, hey, whatever. So, I don't know. Uh, but anyway, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, thanks for watching. Take care, and until next time, peace. Thank you.